The sport of rugby is woven into the fabric of New Zealand history. Kia ora tātou kato. welcome in to edition 47 of the Bunnings NPC featuring the home team Manawa 2 and Canterbury coming to you from Central Energy Trust Arena in uh, Palmerston North alongside me in co-commentary by, uh, from former Bayer Plenty front rower Ben Castle. Tēnā koe kendo mai, hari mai, welcome in everybody. Well, we're back and the home team Manawatu get to open the competition again. Nice and controlled, McAllister. Push boys, stay. No sign. I got number six. Of panic from Canterbury, that is a good controlled start. 11 consecutive phases. Thank you. Number six. Off an outstanding line out as well. That drive that got the body, the momentum. Point. Shot them moving. And then when Drummond broke away, they put some great phases together over the advantage line. Their clean out was accurate. And this is where the offside is against Howden. He's come up for happy, bringing the ball back. But just clinical from Canterbury across their set piece. Now their big men go to work. That's a good carry. Allen. Now the chance. Their arm in midfield. The rips after the tackle, no clear release. His knees to the ground first. Just timing, Dallas McLeod. He played some great footy last year. Brett Cameron earned himself a Hurricanes contract for 2023. 20, Levels it up, it's real. No, no, five. Don't change your bind. Drummond sneaking down the right edge. And now Burke with a little double pump. He was looking for Mataele. Gets away from Fido. And an unlikely try in unlikely circumstances. And Fergus Burke gets it done for Canterbury. As you just see, he darts away, then lovely pass, and yeah. then, well, it's individual brilliance, yeah, really, from Berg there. offending and getting through and did it well. But really well set up from Mitch Drummond. Yes, thank you. The key now, line-out time. Oh, they've got a great drive, and Gallagher again safe at the front of the line-out. And they've got good momentum. This is going to be hard for Manawatu to stop as they march. Canterbury goes through and McAllister. Try there, number two. Thoroughly deserved try. They basically drove their way 48 metres to get that try. Well done, Brody McAllister. But look at the body position of the red and black. They're nice and low and moving forward. They just can't stop at the momentum. He does well there, McAllister, to come back inside and over he goes. It was just a great example of set piece try. <laughs> Combo of. McAllister for Gallagher, followed by a line-out drive with McAllister in the back of the drive. Now the ball's on the ground, you can see. Franks. Gone back. Last feet, last feet. Cullen no, Grace no, no, Sam no. Derry. Nice job. Now for Christie. Little second man play, they got numbers out on this left edge. Bridge, too good. George Bridge and a spectacular finish. Not a lot of room to move, and the All Black winger. And we'll use this as a water break too, let's. Try time. And it's a great finish. Just great awareness from Bridge to know. Well, not you. only where the trial line is, but where his defensive player is coming and just the timing that almost he was desperate to pull that line and the ability to finish like that. You spoke about it, Ken, his aerial skills, his athleticism, the power, the speed, acceleration was an exceptional, exceptional finish. Frank's first receiver, the ball along the ground for Dallas McLeod to put in a nice... Very nice heads up play and look at the field position he's won for his team, Dallas McLeod.
and a 50 20 which means they had to throw at the line out Derry was at six at the line out now we know what's been working for them has been the line out drive and McAllister back to back tries for the hooker and you put that down to McLeod and that 50 20 dominant four tries to nil 29 points to three at half time Canterbury over the home team Manawatu play without the ball for long periods of time Cameron again turns the ball on the outside for Torrance Reed can't get it away in the tackle no 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 two stay on side they've got no halfback Manawatu Cameron forced to go there and now Leif Schwenke. Yossi. TK Howard and now a chance has been intercepted. All oh, that defence. And eventually Mataele coming away with the ball. And then a beautiful no-look pass for McLeod. It's a one-two play. Dallas McLeod and Manasa Mataele. They are putting on a show here in Manawatu. What a try out of nothing multiple phases they put together and then look at this read that's a lovely ball before this one the one from Brandon Yossi was outstanding then just one too many and look at this interplay here that one there that's sensational then back again oh Canterbury they just punish you Second man play, the ball goes forward and it's advantage with Canterbury and now Burke is out there leading the charge and covers the ball along the ground, only needs a good bounce, he's going to get it and easy as you like, they advance the score to 41. You mentioned it Ken, the way their defensive line is coming up, the enthusiasm, this is where the ball's down, but there's enough numbers. There's Drummond and look at Burke, look at the pace, they've still got Ramaka, Poyepi as well and then the bounce of the ball and the speed. Berkey goes over for a second. Well, it... Very nice set play. Braden Yossi hard onto the ball. Goes hard at the line with the ball over the top. This is much better from Manawatu. They will take something out of this. Lay Swingy. Well, his impact off the bench has been outstanding. He's been busy and he's rewarded from following up. Good footwork, too, from the hooker. Good try. Advantage over for the knock on. Leonard Brown. Again, they quickly go back to the left edge. Four Three defenders. Recycles the ball. A lovely little double pop, and they've opened up the mower, too. Defense Willie Orange is coming on the inside. Offloads the ball from the ground. Klein. No hands now, boys. A good run now. He cleans out. Willie Hines are going to go the right side now. Derry. Chance now for. Golta on debut. Nice job. Here's the break there. But Clyde just yeah. holding the ball up beautifully. Okay. And then looking for substitute. Look at here. This is the pass. Hines in off the deck bridge. And then out wide here. Derry sums it up well. Gardner. Well, over to Golta. Out of Lincoln High on debut. Secured by Canterbury with field position. Kello. A nice wide ball, poor hippie. Well, that green. There was a tremendous carry from the second five. Now, Hines. They got numbers out on this left edge. They will comfortably get in through Shea Fihaki. Not a lot of work for him to do tonight. It's all been done in front of him. Again, after winning that line out, then just tapped on, and then the hands that do it. That's running out of numbers, Manawatu. The movement in the Manawatu line before going long for TK Howden, but it's one with a spectacular play by Gardner with a right foot step, a fend and a pirouette. He just a metre short, Hines goes to the left side. Advantage for offside. And just short, they've got a penalty advantage. Second man play, poor Hippie with an attacking kick out on the left side. Bridge. Too good. He 
Jumped it here it is there how and the ball comes in and Garner just pounces straight through the substitute loose forward he does well to hang on I think it's Gallagher who gets really close and this is just a lovely touch Miss Derry who's close rather and a lovely touch from Pohepe lovely weighted kick there's in the number 12 and then Bridge and he scored a beauty an individual one flying this time he just rolls one in with a lovely catch and Canterbury just keep rolling Cameron. Oh, Fainga Anuku. A rare break down the middle of there. A chance to finish with the last say in the game, Drew Wild. That'll keep the crowd excited and hopefully we'll come back on Wednesday when they have to play a game, but it has been Canterbury's night. But at the end of an entertaining contest and a dominant performance from Canterbury, 62 points to 15 winners over Manawatu.